city council member wants to keep schools open five days a week throughout the summer. Yeah, Councilman Zeke Cohen says summer programming often serves as a sanctuary for kids, but city school administrators say they need to close schools on Fridays for staffing purposes. Now, WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live outside City Hall in downtown Baltimore with this story. Mark. Good morning, Randall and Megan. Well, right now, the current plan for Baltimore City Public Schools is to offer summer learning opportunities only four days a week, which means that any outside partners that also offer summer programming, they would also have to close if they are using those same school buildings. Now, even when school's out for summer, many kids find themselves back in the classroom, whether it's to make up classes in summer school or take advantage of extracurricular learning. Summer programming offers many kids something more than an education. Councilman Z. Cohen says city schools are a key part of the public safety ecosystem, that it's a sanctuary for many kids, which is why he's disappointed that city schools will not be open on Fridays this summer. And because partner organizations also operate summer programming at school-based locations, those organizations also are limited to providing programming only four days a week. At a city council public safety and government operations hearing on Wednesday, the chief of Baltimore schools, John Davis, says schools cut back Friday hours during the pandemic. Cohen called the decision to keep the policy in place irresponsible at a time when kids are being killed on the city streets. Cohen believes educators at school sites should make the determination of when the school buildings are open, not the administrators on North Avenue. For me, uh, any decision that restricts the amount of time that our young people are safely in programming um, in groups like Elevate um, or any of the other summer collaboratives that we have, uh, to me that represents an increased likelihood that they will be in harm's way. We have to retain our best school leaders. We have to retain our school-based staff. And a few Fridays off, right, has gone over well with them. Um, and so, yes, we can take that back. At the same time, I'm not going to promise you we're going to reverse the decision here. Now, registration for those summer programs starts on Monday. Meanwhile, the Mayor's Office of Children and Family Success says that they will meet with kids in high schools across the city starting next week to find out what type of activities they would like to see so that they can still provide safe spaces for kids on Fridays and Saturdays throughout the summer. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. The mayor